not a game, it's a real thing. Hello beautiful people, today I will show you 5 coffee table decorating ideas for Christmas using Dollar Tree and thrift items. My name is Nora G and welcome to my nook. So before I get into the fish and chips of this video, I would love if you can subscribe to my channel, that is if you're new here and if you're a returning subscriber, thank you and welcome back. So today I will show you how to make some really glam high end Christmas decor on a budget using Dollar Tree and thrift items as well as a broken glass, a broken wine glass. <laughs> Alrighty, so this glam home decor can be used all year round and not just for Christmas. Let's get right into it. So yeah, all three for three dollars and the clear tray I got for three dollars as well. So in total that is six dollars. For the picture frame, I got this from the Dollar Tree for $4. I will be using this to create a mirror tray as you will see as the video goes on. I will be using these cabinet handles that I got from Canadian Tire on this mirror tray I will be creating in this video. And also these Christmas Village um, characters, I got them from the Dollar Store for $1.50 which I will use underneath our broken glass as you will see. Other items I will be using will be this metallic gravel in champagne for one of the vases, reflective paper, marble. These I got from Amazon and other items that I will provide the links to in the description box below. These tiny Christmas trees I got from the dollar store for $1.50 and so let's get started. This face, I would say, is a high-end Christmas decor on a budget, a thrifted Christmas decor. So yes, I will be using this champagne paint um, over the bottle uh, using my brush like I did in my previous video. I don't know if you've watched that, but the link is above right now for my glam home decor DIY series, the decorative vases. So I will be using the leftover of that paint on this face except this time I'll be creating something different. I choose to brush over this instead of spray painting it because I love the texture that the brush strokes give to the vases. I applied over four coats and then set aside to dry um, for longer. After every coat, make sure to let it dry before you apply the next coat. Once that was dried, I used masking tape or paper tape to map out the areas that I intend to keep on this vase before going ahead to proceed with my decor. You can choose whatever design you want to do on your vases and as, as you can see I have chosen to make mine this way so you don't necessarily have to do the same thing but if you like by all means. So I went ahead and used Mod Podge on the areas that I did not cover with the, uh, the duct tape or the paper tape and applied the metallic gravel over it. Once this was dry I went ahead and added two more coats of metallic gravel just because I really wanted that thickness and for it to cover the most space on the face. Just watch as I do this. These can be very messy so that is why I have like the black garbage bag spread out on the surface before I went ahead to pour this and also so that I can actually reuse every particle that falls off from the vase because obviously every particle is not going to adhere to the vase on the first try. I later transferred the vase into a box um, for easy application because obviously the surface wasn't doing me any much good so it was way easier for me to actually have everything contained and so I went ahead and added many more coats onto this, uh, three coats to be precise and once it was dry after an hour or two I kept adding more gravel over it and then I used this gold glitter over it while the mud parch was still very um, fresh on the vase just so it holds very well and it's not falling off afterwards. After about two to three hours I started taking off the 
paper tape that I had on there because this was dry enough for me to be able to peel this out successfully. Mud Podge actually cures in about 24 to 48 hours and trust me it dries clear so do not worry about the white that you still see on your vase if you eventually try this. So once I took that all off, this is our final resort. A glam decorative thrifted Christmas vase which you can use anytime or year round. Look at that. I thought it would be cool to actually add this little crystal dot on there just to give it some, you know, <laughs> extra flair. And I actually love the way it turned out. So yeah, so let me know in the comments section if this face is a yes or no for you. In other news, please make sure to check out my other DIY videos. Link found in the description box and I'll also drop the link right above this video. Thank you. I had so much fun making this twin glam gold face for our coffee table decorating ideas for Christmas, which you can also use any time of the year. So yes, I went ahead to use the E6000 glue to glue these two vases together. And for the base, I am using this dollar store wall tile I have had for years now, which I got for a dollar. So remember, I got this vase for $4, both of them, so $2 each. And now I will be using my hot glue gun to glue together the marbles onto the vase. As a kid, marble used to be treasure and for some reason we used to call it bizarre. I'm not sure why. <laughs> so, anyway, so I am using bizarre or marble right now to actually fill in the cracks or the gap between my vase to create some kind of uh, a design. This is what will basically bind the two together and the two shall become one, they say. <laughs> All right, so let's keep going. You can try this with any other vase of your choosing, okay? So because the glue gun kind of creates a kind of a web, which I do not like, I actually use my um, dryer at very high, set it very high to actually blow dry that um, the strands, the glue gun strands before going ahead to spray painting this gold, metallic gold. And this is the final outcome. Easy breezy. Look at that. Now it doesn't look $4 anymore, does it? I then went ahead to obviously decorate it using some Christmas accessories, um, some holly berries and pines and pine cones, and also tried using um, red flowers on there. And it's also like um, the tulip. You can use any flowers of your choosing, any kind of um, decorative piece, and just make this yours. I just really love how this turned out. So next on our coffee table decorating ideas for Christmas, I am using this broken wine glass. So hey, disclaimer, I did not break this glass for the purpose of this DIY. <laughs> it wasn't part of the plan initially. I just happened to have broken the glass after having some wine and the glass actually broke artistically. So I thought to myself, why throw this away? Oh, I didn't talk to myself. Who am I talking to before? <laughs> So I thought, why well, throw this away? I might as well try to come up with something. And this is what came to mind. And I decided to, um, of course, put this to use instead of throwing it away. And now we have our trash to glam home decor for Christmas. In order to create a cohesive look with the previous twin gold vase, I decided to use some of the marbles on this glass as well. And the, the marble slab you see on the side is a leftover from my sculpture DIY video, which I have the link right above um, right now. I will be using that as the base for this um, broken glass glam. So now I will use the Christmas characters, the Christmas village characters, and glue them onto the marble slab. Watch as I complete this. 
You can also use any other decorative piece underneath your glass. It does not have to be the Christmas Village characters. This is just my preference. And so for the bottom part of the of the broken glass, of the wine glass, I will be using these clear acrylic unicorns that I got from the dollar store for $1.50. And I will be using my hot glue to attach that to the bottom part of the glass. Watch as I do this. Again, you can choose any other decorative pieces for your project. Unicorns are just my preference. I just really loved how this turned out. It is just the perfect tiny little glam decor to set aside on your countertop, your coffee table, you name it. Anyways, that wasn't it for me, so I used Mod Podge to apply some gold glitter at the base so it doesn't really show a lot like a part of a broken glass, okay? So this is the final look. Actually, after this, I went ahead to add another coat of glitter at the bottom because this wasn't very um, clear for me. I could still see through the glass and this was the final look. I love that I could make a two-in-one glam decor using just one wine glass. <laughs> so yes, I could use the upper part of the glass over the unicorns or over the Christmas village characters. I just love how this turned out. It is very cute and you need to see this in person. It is really glam and looks very high-end, especially with the marbles at the top, which now acts as the handle. And now setting everything together on the tray, it looks so beautiful. And you wouldn't even guess that this is a DIY because it looks very much like something straight out of a high-end store. All right, um, so I'm gonna show you how I made this clear glass tray as we proceed. So, furthermore, on our coffee table decorating ideas for Christmas, I will show you how I make this glam mirror tray. All right, and so we will be using our $4 um, frame, picture frame from the Dollar Tree and applying um, some of the cabinet handles, two of the cabinet handles that I got from Canadian Tire. Make sure to measure just so they're aligned properly. I went ahead to use hot glue and E6000 glue together to actually glue that onto the frames. Um, mainly because E6000 cures for longer and is stronger and hot glue will hold that down right away. I then used this silver reflective paper over the wooden part of the frame for a mirror effect. This is a cheaper version. If you want to have something more realistic, you can actually invest in a good glass frame, a good mirror frame that you can use for your stand. So I went ahead and put that back in and actually added a glass, a mirror glass onto it as well because it reflects better and this is a final resort. I just love that. Just look at how that ties everything together. It is the perfect set for your coffee table. And it is, it is not just for Christmas, you can use it all year round. Look at that. Please let me know in the comment section which of these pieces are your favorite so far. And please, if you have watched up to this moment, do comment high end in the comment section and show your girls some love. Thank you. So next on our coffee table decorating ideas for Christmas, I will be making a silver set using the trio glasses and the clear tree. 
got all of this piece together for six dollars so the clear tray was three dollars and the trio vases were a dollar each i will be using masking tape or paper tape to map out the areas that i want to keep and also the areas that i will be spraying silver i went ahead and did the same for the vases however using smaller tape to create my desired effect. Watch as I do this. Also, this is very similar to my four glam vase DIY series video, the four decorative vases, uh, four glam vases that I did, uh, where I basically used masking tape to create um, some kind of a design. Long and short of this is that you can actually use masking tape to create whatever design you want on your vases. It all boils down to you being creative and how you want it to look. So once I was done placing that, I used saran wrap over the bottles before spray painting it so that my spray paint will not go onto the areas that I do not want it to go to. Once this was dry, after about an hour or two, I went ahead to take off the tape and this is what it actually looks like. Watch as I complete this. Again, you are not bound to use silver because I used silver. This is just personal preference. So you can use any color of your choosing. White, black, gold, pink, rose gold, you name it. Just have fun with it, guys. This is all fun and that is what DIY is for, for you to create you. So I will be using these gemstones that I got from the dollar store at the rim of the tray, of the clear tray, just like I did in my expensive dessert stand video DIY, link above. I will also drop the link in the description box. If you haven't watched that yet, make sure to check it out, how you can transform any thrift store um, plates or any thrift store item to glam looking expensive dessert stands. So I went ahead to place the same stones around the vases just to give it a cohesive look so that it is matching very well with the tray and this I didn't buy them together. That tray I bought separately from the vases but how you set this up would determine if they now look like a one piece. So that holds it all together. Just watch as I complete this. And so this is the final look. However, this is not complete. So we have to make it look more Christmas. And so I am using some table sort, some big grain table sort that I have had at home for a while now. And um, I am using that as my snow. And I will use the, the small Christmas trees that I got from the dollar store in each of the vases as well. Just look at that. If this doesn't scream Christmas to you, I don't know what else is. <laughs> you can actually go ahead and add lights in your vases, flowers, whatever you name it. You just take this and make it yours. For me, I will be using just the Christmas trees and then I will add some uh, embellishments at the bottom using some pine, pine cones and holly berries just to give it an added look and that Christmassy look. So this is the final touch guys with the holly berries, pine and pine cones and I really really loved how this turned out. Do let me know in the comment section which of these decorative pieces was your favorite. It is all about keeping it simple and elegant, yet high-end and sophisticated. And that brings us to the end of this video. So we went from this to this. I just love how everything turned out, how detailed they all are and it looks very high-end to me so you just let me know in the comment section which of these pieces was your favorite and also do not forget to drop a comment and let me know when you will start setting up for Christmas I would love to know and uh, as you can see I already begun and moreover if you did enjoy this video please do not forget to hit that like button for your girl <laughs> and also please do hit that subscribe button if you're yet to and turn on the notification bell if you want to see more content like this from me 
In the meantime, always remember to be your fun self, no matter what life throws at you. Thank you. Thank you.